Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you all things related to Ramadan and Islamic lifestyle. As Ramadan approaches, I want to take a moment to greet all our Muslim viewers and congratulate you on the arrival of this blessed month. During Ramadan Suhoor, the pre-dawn meal plays a crucial role in providing sustenance for fasting throughout the day. However, it's important to choose foods wisely to ensure sustained energy levels and avoid discomfort during the fasting hours. So, let's dive into the 10 worst suhoor food eating habits during Ramadan. Avoiding poor food choices will help you have a more fulfilling and energetic fast. 1. Many breakfast cereals are high in sugar and refined carbohydrates, which can cause a rapid spike in blood sugar levels followed by a crash leaving you feeling hungry and fatigued, and as such they should be replaced with healthier alternatives like rice porridges, puddings, just to mention a view. 2. Fried foods like samosas, pakoras, or fried pastries are high in unhealthy fats and calories, which can lead to indigestion, bloating, and sluggishness during fasting hours. Dr. Rohini Patil, MBB's nutritionist, founder, Nutraci Lifestyle says, excessive salt in taki can cause dehydration and thirsting during the fasting period. 3. Avoid salty snacks like potato chips, salted nuts, or processed meats for sahur. Sweetened beverages such as fruit juices, sodas, or energy drinks are high in sugar and can cause a rapid rise in blood sugar levels, leading to hunger and cravings later in the day. 4. Foods high in saturated fats such as fatty meats, creamy sauces, and fried foods, can take longer to digest and may cause discomfort and heaviness during fasting hours. 5. While spices can add flavor to dishes, overly spicy foods can irritate the stomach lining and cause heartburn or acid reflux, especially when consumed early in the morning. 6. Processed and packaged foods often contain additives, preservatives, and unhealthy fats, which can disrupt digestion and leave you feeling sluggish during fasting hours. 7. While a small amount of caffeine may be okay for some people, excessive consumption of caffeinated beverages like coffee or tea can lead to dehydration and increased urination during fasting hours. 8. While it may be tempting to indulge in sweets or desserts at Suhur, they are often high in sugar and low in nutrients, leading to energy crashes and cravings later in the day. 9. Overeating at Suhur can lead to discomfort and bloating throughout the day. Instead, focus on smaller, balanced meals that provide sustained energy without causing heaviness. Instead of these worst Suhor foods, opt for balanced meals that include complex carbohydrates, lean proteins, healthy fats, fiber-rich foods, and plenty of water to stay hydrated throughout the fasting period. 10. Consider foods like millet, whole grain bread, eggs, yogurt, fruits, vegetables, and nuts for a nourishing and satisfying suhoor. By making healthier choices, you can have a more energized and spiritually fulfilling fasting experience. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Ramadan Mubarak to all, and may this blessed month bring you peace, happiness, and spiritual growth. Until next time, take care, and assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Take care.